Hi, I, I'm, I'm Leon Herbert from, uh, from Camp Sparta. Camp Sparta originates from uh, about, about five years ago from the stand. Uh, the owner of, uh, of Camp Sparta used to, used to own the stand before Skirmish took it over. Um, we then got another site at Takao Spartan. Uh, that's a site that's still running now, CQB site. Uh, rated the third best CQB site in the uh, in the UK uh, by Airsoft International Magazine. Um, and now we have we have Camp Sparta, which is hopefully going to be the biggest and best uh, CQB site in uh, in the country. I think we had to take on the site due to the size of it, due to the nostalgia behind it. It's uh, it's like Disneyland for airsofters. Uh, you play on an RAF base, it's massive, you've got 500 rooms, 31 acres, um, it, it's what everybody wants to play at. Our aim, as it's always been, is, is to put on a good show. Um, we're not interested in making millions of pounds, what we want to do is we want a really good show, we want everyone that comes to have the best time, keep coming back, um, and if they keep coming back we can improve on the site, we can put more in for them um, and make it something really special. Well, we hope the players can expect something different, something they don't normally get at any other airsoft site. Um, Vehicles in play, different types of objectives, different ways of playing, uh, different experiences. Uh, this, this, I mean, the way it's played today is more of a, a mini mill sim than a, than a skirmish, and we you know skirmishes are, are enjoying that. Um, so we're hoping to do something a bit different, and it is, you know, it's cracking side, cracking base, a lot, lot of history behind it. Uh, we just hope everyone really, really enjoys it. Uh, at the present, yeah, we are using um, the canister grenades from TLS FX. Um, they're a low decibel grenade that goes with more of a flash than anything else. Uh, this is currently just because of the uh, the issues that we have with regarding getting planning. We want to make sure the neighbours are happy. Um, so what we're going to do is start off small, and then we'll look at once we get our planning through, and we can we know what we can use. We'll then start looking at things like 209s, Mark IVs, Mark Fives. Uh, but yeah, we, we we are aiming to make sure that the pyrotechnics are widely available to be used on site. Unfortunately, we haven't only got this site for three years. Uh, it is a three years lease, and at the end of that three years, we'll be looking for the next project. We are we are looking at work, working with um, uh, people like Combat Airsoft Games, CAG. Uh, to run Milsim events. We're going to be working with ASP UK, who's going to be running a sniper school with Dan Mills, who wrote the Sniper One books. We have the Zombie Uprising events uh, that are run uh, by, by Ryan. Um, he's rated the, the, the number one zombie experience in, on TripAdvisor. Uh, so yeah, we've got some, some really good things planned. Today's been a sellout, and, and then some we've had around 110 players on. Two weeks time, we're about 30 booked on already. So we'll, we'll, we'll gauge it by, by the first few events. The capacity of this site, S International played with 190 or so people. They did have the hangers, uh, which does add a lot to the site, uh, but we could, we could quite easily play with 200 people here. Now, we don't want to do that. Uh, what we'd rather do is charge a fraction more, not very much more, and have a lower number, and have people enjoy themselves more. More themed games, people be able to get into vehicles. Yeah, if we were to start to have 200 players on, yeah, we wouldn't have the vehicles to be able to do it, the manpower and everything. We want to put on, like I said, put on a really good show. We're not interested in making loads of money from loads of different people, uh, hundreds of people coming on site. We'd rather keep it small, keep it good. Yeah, we just want to say thank you to ASG, ICS, ICS uh, Viper Tactical, Elite Airsoft, uh, ASP UK as well. Uh, they've all helped today as well, as well as all the staff and, and all the hours that they've put in. Um, it's really been mostly appreciated. I'm Leon Herbert, thank you for, uh, for listening.